a radio star gets married, maybe you can hardly expect it to be a private affair. And to see Leslie Cerrone and his charming bride, who was actress Anita Eaton, thousands mill round All Souls Langham Place, bang opposite the front door of Broadcasting House. If you had been one of that surging crowd, you'd hardly have had more than a glimpse of the happy couple and the best man, the other Leslie, Leslie Holmes. But Patty Gazette can do better than that, for our cameramen are the only ones invited to the wedding reception at the Hungaria, where almost every star of the variety world joins in giving the smaller half of the two Leslies a tremendous send-off. Even here, we occasionally get pushed to the edge of the crowd. But when we want to get another picture, what's a little thing like a crowd to a bold, bad man like Leslie Holmes? May I ask you to be so kind? It's a very, very difficult job for a best man. Go blimey, you never tried it. <laughs> Thanks, Leslie. Nice to see you again. Oh, you look marvelous today. Oh, you, <laughs> you look nice too, Nita. Tell me, Leslie, where are you going for your honeymoon? I'm going to Paris. You're going to Paris? Yeah. You're going by uh, train? No. By boat? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Don't forget to take your umbrella with you. What for? <laughs> well, uh, just as a sort of peace emblem. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to try and try again, though, do I? <laughs> 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 oh, I'm cracking. All right, Lizzie, don't go. Uh, I say, have you booked a bird? <laughs> Give us a job. <laughs>